Okay, folks. Uh, I tell you what. You know, there's a there's a few things that I can't do, and one of them is machine work when somebody's talking to me, and the other one is use a digital caliper. And if you sort of old school and you you know use dial calipers for years and years, it's hard to use one. So, uh, but now that's not my excuse because I wasn't uh, I wasn't using it digital. I did have a few people talking to me today, though. This is a, a normal day for people to stop by and visit, which I don't have a problem with. I just need to stop doing machine work. Well, one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to narrow this rod up a bunch and uh, probably narrow this piece up some more. Might not have to, but uh, we're going to use this connecting rod. And this is out of an old Willie's Jeep. And uh, we're going to use it instead of the other, and I'm going to show you why, and I'm going to show you what I've done. Uh, Attempt number one, okay, and, and this, you know, I can totally understand if this is something I've never done before, but, you know, I know how to do this, and uh, I just totally messed this up. Uh, didn't th take into account, of course, you know, the the uh, bearing hole wasn't big enough for the offset, okay. So I've done this one, and, and I didn't like it because I went a little undersized by accident. I had to narrow it up. I didn't like the center hole. And I knew that it would fit in there, so I just jumped on there and made me another one. Didn't think nothing about it. Uh, wasn't realizing that uh, I didn't measure it right. And uh, I went an eighth off center instead of a quarter. So I made that one up and, you know, finished it up and then realized I, you know, couldn't use it. Then uh, once I realized what I'd done, I, I figured out, of course, that I needed something bigger because the offset needed to be farther. So I throw this one in and uh, make this real quick, you know, when I changed over to the connecting rod. And uh, I knew I needed a half inch travel, so I just measured a half from center, knowing the whole time that a quarter from center. But uh, so we didn't finish that one. So attempt four, we're finally done. And it uh, looks good. It's got, you know, I've now indicated it to check it. and. So we're good with our, our throw or on our, our distance on our rod. So what we're gonna we're gonna narrow this thing up, this connecting rod up, about all the way to the nuts there. We're gonna take it a, a long ways in, and we'll end up probably cutting this and uh, going from there with it. We might throw it up on here and just see what it looks like here. I'm gonna move my dial indicator out of the way. See how long it is. Yeah, see, it, I mean, it's just about to length where it would have needed to be, but we, we want an adjustment, so we'll end up cutting it and putting something on the end and trying to make it look decent. And uh, we're going to, like I said, cut that rod down and make it narrower and not so heavy, and I sort of like the looks of it, so I'm going to get back at it. Uh, there's, uh, there's four I don't need. There's three I don't need. All right. Good thing I'm not a machinist. Okay, folks, we got the rod narrowed up here. You can see it's basically the same width as the as the or offset on our eccentric. Uh, this is metal to metal. Turns you know really good in there, and I done a little honing on it and make it where it's nice and smooth. But uh, one thing about it, we need to make sure we get good oil with this and. Uh, there's actually a hole, you can see it right here, and it comes in from the top right here, but it looks like it's really, really small or closed off, so I'm going to go through that and drill that hole out, make sure uh, it's getting open, and uh, so we won't, uh, won't have any oiling issues. Uh, when it's on the uh, engine, we've still got plenty of crankshaft left sticking out to to run our flywheel and uh, you know it, we may have to we may narrow it up a little bit the flywheel you know to hub but not a big deal uh, we're gonna have to figure out now what we're gonna do on this how we're gonna cut it and what we're gonna end up putting putting on it but uh, I was playing around with something here but need to uh, it's actually awfully close to being right like that but I really want to run some adjustment in it, but, but uh, we're going to look at it. You never know. 
Alright. I'll right. we'll show you shortly. Okay folks, I sort of like this. I'm not I know that I'm the one that said it was the more adjustment the better, but it looks like <laughs> we may only have this adjustment right here. The uh I'm gonna make a different bushing for this and uh we'll shorten that one up. You know, it's got to be nice for the bolt to go through it. I'm going to do something so it'll pivot good, and uh, I think I'm going to use that. But it's kind of funny, though. If you look at the size of the connecting rod in the motor, and then the linkage, it sort of, sort of don't go together too well, but so what? That goes right back to the no rules policy. But, uh, yeah, I think we're going to figure out something on that. It's so close. I mean, I can easily get the adjustment out of here. And uh, we'll probably just drill that and put a stud screw in it. Uh, you know, a little tiny one. And uh, I think that'll work. I've still got to do my my lock on my eccentric. Uh, it's going to be a little easier than this one, but, you know, basically that, that set up there. And uh, I can maybe it won't have to angle that one as sharp with it being so much bigger. But, but uh, and you can see, you know, we've got a little ways on the, on the flywheel here that the, uh, you know, the crank don't go in, so. I've got the bolt on the inside. I mean, we can mill it here, and we still got a ways to go where we could clear, still clear the rod. Uh, so that, that's not a big issue. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, you know, the flywheel's not gonna be coming off anyway, so. Uh, we'll see what we can do, and it's coming along. A uh, little hold up on the eccentrics there, but we've finally got that taken care of, so show you more shortly. Okay folks, just wanted to show you what I what I done there to uh to lock that eccentric and uh it'll be easy to to loosen that up and turn it anywhere we need to turn it and that'll set our timing. Uh it looks like I'm gonna use that rod like it is. I'm going to make a different bushing. Uh, I'm actually going to make one out of a piece of brass I've got. Okay, we're going to make a new bushing, and we're going to we're going to make it a little bit shorter than this one, and uh, figure out what the best way is. You know, this is threaded with uh, 716 fine, and uh, I have to find a bolt long enough, or uh, and maybe go to short and put a lock nut in between, something to be able to keep it loose. Uh, I've just got a 3 8 bolt shoved in it now, and you can see that, you know, it's got some play in it. And uh, there's, you know, an obstruction inside of here, too, that won't let me go all the way through. And uh, there's a notch cut out so that this bolt can, can go up through. And it won't fit up through. That's why it was in the back side, but, which is no big deal. We can cut our new notch in our piece of uh, brass. Need to get some brass on anyway, get it looking a little bit better. But that's uh, what we got so far here. And uh, I've had the flywheel on it, turned it, everything seems to work good. And I'm going to show you that here before I, before I stop. But I'm going to go ahead and try to get something done on this. And uh, we'll get the flywheel on and I'll show you, spin it a few times and show you what it looks like. And then uh, we will uh, maybe call it a night. Okay, folks, I think I'm going to wrap this up for the night. But i got my bushing made. Uh, we're going to drill this and cotter pin it. Now this is tightened around the bush and so it's not going anywhere. Uh, and I think that's uh we got it about how we want it. And I'm gonna turn it a little bit here so you can you can see it operate. Uh, and uh, maybe we can get the camera back here. Turns nice and smooth. Oh, one finger here. And you can see the valve is sliding covering. I mean, it's, it's doing just what it's supposed to do. And I've got it actually pretty close to being in time just by, you know, when I set it up. But, you know, it'll, it'll need some fine, fine adjustment. But, you know, uh, I think it's going to work out just fine. We, uh, we may take some off the flywheel to get it a little closer. We've got about a half inch in there. But, I mean, that's at least two inches across that hub. So it's not going to hurt to do that. Uh, like I said, cotter pin here, we'll have to drill that. We'll still got to drill this. Uh, and, you know, a few little cosmetic things. And uh, We're real close. We can put our 
fitting in for our air on this and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this part, get it sandblasted good and uh, cleaned out inside. I'm going to make me a couple metal pieces to go in here and then I'm going to try to fill that full of lead. I don't know if it's going to work or not, I have no idea, but uh, we're going to try it anyway. And uh, But there she is so far. Uh, you know, everything's been going good except for that problems with the eccentrics, but you know nobody's fault but mine. Uh, it happens, but uh, you know, hopefully we'll have her up and running for too long. All right. Uh, be sure and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, got a lot, a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, always working on something. Uh, Believe it or not, seven days a week. I, I, this is my enjoyment right here. So, this is like being on vacation. So, uh, you know, subscribe and thumbs up, and you know, leave a note there if you uh, below if you've uh, got any questions or comments and any ideas that uh, might make my life a little easier on this stuff. Uh, Till next time. Bye.